back to my channel today i will be sharing my desk organization as well as my planner cart setup for 2021 so i'm very excited to share this with you guys i do have a full office tour where i briefly go over everything but i just wanted a more in-depth video on my channel for y'all and to really go in details on my planner cart so i'm going to start with my desk so i have this wall organization center from aaron condren and so i use this for my inbox and so whenever I put sticky notes in my inbox and I want to get something done or accomplished or just to archive them I put them up here it all really depends I really like using this because it's nice to have it at my desk and to just be able to look up and not have to like turn my planner to see what's going on um, but moving down we have my new acrylic desk organizer that I've shared and I absolutely love this so on here I have my Work planner, meeting note, notepad from cloth and paper. So this is pretty much my work section since I'm working from home. And then I have um, just a receipt, my phone. What I love most about this is that I can put my phone up so I can see any notifications. I can do my work phone or my personal phone based on whatever I'm doing. Um, and then I have these organizers from Target. These are from the Noted Post-it collection. And so in here, I have all of my sticky notes from cloth and paper and just some of my smaller sticky notes. So I have um, my Infinite Lotus, Top Paper Co. Freebies, and then some cloth and paper page flags. And then um, I have this Chanel um, card that came in an order. And so um, it actually got stuck there, so I can't take it out. I was just thinking if I could place it there, but now it's pretty much the background. Um, and so I just put my white out in here whenever I'm like actively writing because I do use a lot of white out. But that is everything on this bottom row and I love how it all looks together. Up top I have this acrylic ruler from Erin Condren. I just love the way it looks up here and it's really nice to easily grab it whenever I need a ruler. I have my business cards for my blog and then the work are behind it. And then I have another acrylic organizer from Target and that just has... Um, an adapter for my MacBook. So that is everything on here. And then for the most part, um, my mouse and keyboard don't move unless I need to grab something underneath here, which is only when I'm planning. And then over here is my designated planner spot. This has been my planner spot since I've had this desk and I like keeping it here. It doesn't get in the way surprisingly when I um, am typing or on my keyboard. I don't know if it's just the way that I angle myself, but um, you would think it would get in the way, but it actually doesn't, which is perfect because I like keeping my planner here because I always keep this open. Um, I generally keep it open on my weekly view or my weekly list, and I just like keeping it open so I have it available. Um, and then over here, I have another Aaron Condren acrylic organizer. This just has a ruler and scissors, and then I have a lot of like paper clips and items. This is just where I place things based on whatever I'm doing when I'm at my desk. So that is my desk. And then um, we have my planner card. So I've shared my planner card a million times and I keep updating it. I like having a lot more items on my desk. It makes it a lot more functional. Um, oh, also for desk setup. So over here is just some back storage. So I have my actual work computer. I don't like to use it. I don't like Windows. I prefer to use my Mac and it. I can use my Mac, so I've just been doing that since I've been home. I have a clipboard, some notepads, and then I have this Erin Condren parent planner that I use for work occasionally. This is where I film, so I have this pen holder with all of my Tombos, and then some Erin Condren pens and some mild liners. And whenever I'm filming a planner video, I put my tripod here, and then I just use this to support it, so I just keep it here with my lamp, um, a fan because my office is on the second story so it does get hot. So I just have the small fan from Target. And then I have this little bowl from Erin Condren and right now it just has the AirPod case in there. Um, but that is my desk organization and setup. I was moving on to my planner card. So this is everything that I use to plan currently. And I apologize, I didn't sleep or clean before this video, but um, real life. So uh, I'm going to start from the top and work my way down. 
Um, so up top I have this desk set. I think it's what it's called from Erin Condren. And of course I'll have links to everything below. Um, but this also matches all of like my file folders and organization. So everything's very like matching and I just love the way my office looks because everything like just goes so well together. Um, but I have this and this just holds the cloth and paper binder. Um, and this is just extra inserts that I took out of my planner. Um, this is the HP mini that I'm setting up for school. I have this Louis Vuitton box that came with a purchase and I just keep planner cards in here. It's really hard to do one handed. Um, so I just have a lot of my extra planner cards. I have the cover for my HP mini. So I keep my HP mini on my desk since I'm again working from home. But if I do like an office visit or I do go to my office, um, then I just put it in here so it's stored safely. And then I can also add my notepad in here too. Um, this is my daily planner. So it's either in my purse or on here based on wherever I'm at. Since I'm in my office today, it's on my cart. So before this year, I had all of my planners up here and it was always full. So I'm really excited that I um, actually have a lot of space and I actually like that I, I'm not using a million planners, at least right now, um, which is strange coming from a planner, but I really like the compact system that I created this year. But in here I have just different pens. Let me pull this out. Um, so I just have different pens. I have whiteout, I have double-sided tape, um, and this is just my storage for everything. And then I have all of my planner stickers from Top Paper Co. and the planner spot and your everyday planner here. I like keeping them out because I use these the most. And so they're up top so I can easily grab them and use them. I'm trying to find a way to organize these a little bit better than just keeping them in a stack. Um, but I just, I can't find like a book or something to put them in. I don't want to put them on discs like I did the cloth and paper one. So I'm not sure. Um, so I'm looking for a way to organize those. But for now we have just everything up here and it works so it's fine um behind that i have another louis vuitton box and that has more planner cards and below here is primarily page flags um so we have all of my square page flags from top paper coat and cloth and paper on this business card holder from amazon and then i have all of my regular page flags and this organizer from aaron condren as well as the tab sticky notes from cloth and paper i have some of the new year everyday planner stickers in here and then I have some of the cloth and paper notepads and then just some cloth and paper stickers. And then um, this is for my personal agenda. Um, I just keep stamps in here. I go in between using this or not using this in my planner. Um, for now, I just keep it in here because I don't want to put it in my planner. And then in the back, let me actually move this so y'all can see. We have another one of these holders. So I have two desk sets from Erin Condren in general. Um, which is why I have two of the pen holders, two of the organizers, and two of the uh, magazine holders. I have these paper clips from Sugar Paper from Target, and then I threw in some of my Erin Condren ones. I have a mixture of them in there as well. This is just back stock. I have this pineapple holder from Emily Lay when she had her Target um, line, and then I just keep my tripod in here to make it easier. Uh, or at least one of my tripods. I mainly use this one to vlog, and then I have another one that I use for planning. Um, in this organizer, I just have my old scissors, another ruler, and then this pen holder from Erin. And then while I'm back here, I'm just gonna move down and show y'all what's behind here, um, just to make it easier. So I have my Canon Ivy, I think is the one I have. Um, and it's just a photo printer. And so I have it in this organizer from Amazon with some extra paper. Um, I have this Wonder Woman and Erin Condren planning pouch. I don't have anything in here. Um, whenever I do like go plan downstairs or if I use my planner somewhere else, um, I'll just put stuff in here like stickers that I'm gonna use, extra pens, whiteout, and then I take this with. And then this just has a backstop. So I have extra whiteouts, extra sticky notes, just like literally everything thrown in here, old planner cards. Um, you name it. So this just holds everything else. And then I have my cloth and paper um, stickers in here. So I have one of every sticker. And these are pretty full because I mainly use my Top Paper Co. ones ever since I discovered Top Paper Co. Um, so I'm trying to get better at using these. I think when I'm back in school, I'll use these more. 
um, but I have the dots and the drops in this one. And then I have all of the other shapes in this one. And then I just have them organized by their number. And then of course I use the dots and drops more. So I just have this one up front. And then I'm really happy because I finally got the covers in from Cloth and Paper, I think like during Black Friday. So I really love like the look of these. So we have these and then these are on tool discs. I think these are like two inch discs so I could fit them all. Um, but yeah, we have those and that's an old organizer from Target from like forever ago. Moving on, um, this is where I keep all of my pretty much sticky notes. So I have all of these sticky notes from cloth and paper, primarily like all the sub boxes. That's one thing that I like about having, getting the sub boxes that I'm always stocked up on items. So I have all my sticky notes in here. There's like no particular order. It's probably from like when I first got them slash most used to like taller ones. Um, and then I have all of my other sticky notes in here. So the top paper coat, transparent, these blackout ones from cloth and paper. Um, other cloth and paper sticky notes, and then I have the habit tracker sticky notes from cloth and paper, and then these from the Target post-it collection. And then we have Mira. Other than that, that is actually going to be it for this video. That is my desk setup as well as my planner card setup, and I'm really excited to share all this with you guys. If you all have any questions, please feel free to let me know. But thank you guys so much for watching. Mm -hmm.